thank you for being here. So my name is Timothy Giet. I'm a primary uh, graphic artist, and I started learning uh, hacking and coding to contribute to free software. And I get, got started in KDE in, since 2010 with my contribution to Krita, and uh, I got started in JCon3 in 2014, uh, mainly with graphics um, uh, update on JCon3. So, what is JCon3? Uh, for those who don't know, JCon3 is a um, big collection of activities for children from 2 to 10, globally, or even more. And it's uh, educational activities, and it's used in many schools and available on every pl platform now, thanks to Qt. And it was originally written in GTK Plus and been ported to Qt in quite at the same time when I, or a bit before I started contributing. And it was the main reason to do the graphics, uh, redo all the graphics. So, uh, a lot of things happened in the last year. I'll try to summarize quickly the main points. So, in August last year, uh, we released 0 0.61 with six new activities. But then, bad thing happened is that Bruno Coudouin, who is the creator and has been the maintainer for Object Compris since the beginning in 2000, it's very quite old software, already and he changed job and didn't have any uh, any more time to keep maintaining jcompre so he had to leave this big, big task to me and uh, Johnny Jazex which he who is the um, the biggest contributor uh, at the time and uh, so we share the tasks Johnny does most of the community management and a lot of the code review and he, so when he has time he code new activities while well, I'll do all the graphical work, and I'm in charge now of the commercial activity that Bruno was in charge before, and doing all the communication on the website and the social media, which uh, I'm just starting to get start <laughs> to to get into. And besides uh, all the other tasks, we share them as we can, like bug fixes, bug, what? bug fixes, release planning, and uh, packaging. So, of course. Thanks to the community, we have several contributors, and especially with uh, the season of KDE and Google Summer of Code. That we have great students and uh, a few mentors helping us uh, often. For this year, the Google Summer of Code, we have a contributor called Emmanuel who is helping us mentoring. And so, um, here are a few examples of the activities added in the 061. So you see we had a baby word processor, graph coloring, photo hunter, explore monuments, and a, a tangram, and an activity called land safe where you control a spaceship. I'll show you some screenshot quickly with his tangram, where you, well, you probably know what is a tangram. <laughs> you just put the shapes, uh, the simple shapes to form a more complex one. And the baby word processor to get started learning how word processor is working with very minimum features. And this is a find a difference activity. This one is the land safe and graph coloring and the monuments of the world. Also, we uh, for this release, I we did all the graphics of the chess activity, which is now uh, much nicer, and uh, for the hangman also, which is more fun. And this one also uh, is a horizontal and vertical reading where um, a bunch of words are displayed vertically or horizontally, and the child has to find if the displayed word is uh, if the given word is displayed on this page. So. That was for this release, and then after that, we just before Christmas last year, we could release 070 with again eight new activities, and it was a very very important release because it was uh, 
At this, this moment that we officially dropped the old GTK version um, for, to use the Qt version for every platform because until then, uh, especially on Windows, we provided the GTK version still. But um, the thing that pushed really for this move is that since Bruno left, there is now no one from the team who worked on the GTK version. So it's impossible to provide support for us on it. So even if we don't have yet a full parity with the previous version, it made sense to deprecate it. And so at the same time, I did a big, uh, well, we did a big web website update because the website uh, of gconfree.net is uh, generated in, with uh, Python scripts and uh, Jinja 2 templates and fetching data uh, and translation from the, um, the source code from the application, which make it easier to maintain it, but also it made it harder to, yeah, to transfer the, um, the content to the new version. It required a bit of work. Um, so the new activities in 0.17 were draw letters, draw numbers, build the same model, letter in which word, the nine main Maurice for one and two player, an activity called share the candies, and Roman numerals. So quickly, here is the uh, uh, build the same model, where you have to move the letters or uh, other kinds of uh, images to replicate a given pattern. You can see we added some buttons to control it, but you can use a keyboard or touch input. That's something we try uh, hardly to, well, we make good efforts to give as much um, control, uh, different control available to make it more accessible uh, to as much people as possible. So we always provide keyboards and mouse and touch input for every activities. This is draw number, draw letters, and uh, nine main Maurice, uh, where you have to align three dots from the same color. And this is shadow candies, which I just started to redo the graphics, and where you have a given number of uh, people and a given number of items that you have to share again, again among them. And the uh, Roman number where you where a child learn to convert Roman number to Arabic number. And so for 2017 this year we are uh, we have been preparing the release 080 which is uh, almost ready and should be released uh, this August with six new activities and uh, much more graphics updates since I could now uh, work almost full time work almost full time on it I'm getting yeah uh, well I can work more on the graphics and uh, just to before releasing it we still need to fix a few crash and packaging issues I'll come back to it after so in this version, we have the bar game, one and two player, guest count, categorization, and the checkers, classic checkers game, again, one and two players. So this is categorization that uh, Google Summer of Code students worked on, where you have a uh, different, uh, at the beginning of the activity, you can select different kinds of topics, and then you, you have to find uh, if uh, the images fit in this category or not. Uh, guess count is uh, yeah, w an activity where children have to recreate an operation with uh, operators and number to reach a certain uh, count. And bar game is a simple activity where you place uh, balls on the bar and you must not be the last one to place uh, the ball on the 15th case. <laughs> and the checkers, which looks a lot like uh, the chess, but a bit different. So those are the activities. But uh, about the issues we have had, we've had quite a lot of issues. Uh, 
to get started on Windows. Sadly, they still have a lot of users on, who are stuck on XP, especially on the uh, third world countries. We, a lot of schools have old computers and for some reason they are stuck on Windows XP. So in this case, the best we can do is provide the old GTK version and con try to convince them to switch to GNU Linux on those computers, but we can't do much more. Um, then the second hot topic on Windows is GPU drivers bugs. Yeah, but that's really annoying because uh, we are now forced to um, force the software to use uh, software OpenGL because of a lot of people have broken drivers and the software crash r right when uh, you launch it. So the only workaround we found, uh, except telling the people to update their, their drivers, is to force uh, it for everyone. Because even with the automatic selection, it, it, it still crashes. So maybe we'll find another better workaround and soon. And the third big point I issues on Windows is uh, the Microsoft uh, compiler versus MingW for GCC. Because um, there are often uh, crash that happens when you when we build uh, with uh, MSVC. That doesn't happen when we build with uh, MingW. But it's m m a bit more work and more annoying to build with MingW on Windows since Qt doesn't provide any more 64-bits uh, packages by default. So we have to build Qt and then build gcompre. So it's a bit more annoying. Um, hopefully. I found out uh, yesterday that the crashes we had on MSVC don't happen anymore with Qt 5.9.1, so we are still wondering if we should package the release with MSVC or MingW. We're not decided yet. So that was for Windows. Then on Linux, the situation is a bit better, but uh, the issue is with the distribution. There is really a few distributions that package the latest GCompute version, like Arch Linux, uh, Magia, OpenSUSE, and Kelly Union. That's the only, the four only that I found that ha had the latest version. Unfortunately, Debian, Seed, and all the Ubuntu, latest Ubuntu still have an old 0 0.5 version, which is two years ago. So. It's not very nice, and so we provide a standalone version which is self-extractable, and a standalone version for which should work on every Linux distribution. But it still depends on. Too much. Uh. Hum, hum. Yes, I said the standalone version still depends too much on the the system libraries especially on GStreamer, and we have to choose between GStreamer 0 0.10 and GStreamer 1 to support all distribution or recent ones, and we didn't find, well, there's re not really a way to work around that with this kind of installer. So, we could, we, uh, Alesh told me he has a flat pack package, so we'll try to make it more official. But it still requires the flat pack uh, on the distribution, so it won't work for all the older distribution. But it can be a compromise to have the um, self-extractable, which supports all distribution, and the flat pack for a recent one. We it could be a, a solution. We're not decided yet either. Mm. The third uh, platform with issues is Apple platforms um, on Mac OS X and iOS. Uh, the problem is the packages have not been updated since 0 uh, 0.52 because Bruno did the packages and no one in the team uh, has a Mac anymore, so <laughs> we can't do much more. And we are uh, um, depending on volunteers to help us for now until someone can afford a, a Mac. If, and want to buy a Mac. And hopefully one, one volunteer contacted us a few weeks ago, but didn't uh, make any working package yet. So yeah, the, we don't know when we will be the next uh, release version for those platforms. 
but uh, what we know is for OS X, we want to uh, host it on uh, gcompre.net because it doesn't make more uh, any sense anymore to host it on the Apple uh, uh, App Store for OS X at least. But for iOS, well, uh, we probably probably know that the App Store is still mandatory, so. It's m much more annoying to deploy it, and it requires more organization, and it's more costly. And the uh, history shows that, that actually there's not that much uh, people wanting to buy it on iPad, so it's maybe not really worth the effort. So that's why it didn't move from 0.52. Then, uh, our goals for version 1.0. Uh, we have, we, we really want to have version 1.0 to have full parity with the old version, which means having a working administration panel, which was a very important feature, especially for the schools, which allow to administrate a, a full class and see what they do, give them uh, customized activities. And the work for this administration panel has started, but there's are still like at least a year of work to make it really equivalent to what we had in GTK+. Plus. And then we had other, still a few missing activities that were in the old version, mm, but uh, especially two that are requested a lot by our users, the animation activity and the digital electricity activity with where you learn uh, the digi digital uh, electric component and how a circuit works. Um, for this one, we have an, another new activity in the, in the Qt version, which is digital electricity, which is somehow equivalent, but a bit different because it's different kind of components, but the base can be reused to, to do this activity. And of course, uh, I'd like to complete the graphics update because for now I have only like a third of the activities which have the graphics updated to the new design guidelines. And uh, yeah, that will be my main work for the next months. And at least for the main components because we also have a big library of uh, images that uh, Bruno sponsored someone to, to create with uh, thousands of, uh, well, yeah, more than a thousand, I think, uh, images. So this is really a, a huge work, and I will delay it uh, w and start on it when all the main components have been updated. Also, before this version, we'd like to complete more translations to have as much as the old version. And also, we have um, we need the uh, audio recording for more languages, which for now we have only a few. Yep. And other work we have to do, but uh, before and after this 1.0 release is first more website update to yeah re redesign the the main uh, look of the website and adapt uh, or, well, give more content, okay? And the second one is the manual. The manual is the, another big work because um, it barely got started, the manual on the new version, while we had a very um, complete one for the old version. So it can confuse people when they found the old manual and look for thing for things into it, and then they realize it's false for the old version. And oh, but where's the new manual? Oh, <laughs> and actually, someone started it in LaTeX, but uh, maybe we'll not continue in LaTeX because it's not the easiest way to get contributors to, to the manual. Um, so, how can you help? For quite anyone, you can help us first reporting bugs and feature requests on bugs.kde.org. We still use that for the bug reports because it's much more convenient to triage user reports and then create tasks when required on Fabricator, of course. And 
translations, we need help for translations from all the world, and the voice recordings too. And we used to have issues to get people to get a good recording device, but with nowadays um, smartphones, it should be easy for most people to record uh, audio and send it to us. And then for developers, we need, uh, or if you like to help, you can help us by porting one of the missing activities. Or if you're an expert uh, in the network and uh, that kind of stuff, you can help us on the administration panel. If you have uh, expert advices, it would be already a, a great help. And even more, if you can bring some code, that would be awesome. Um, some help to create an app image and, of course, to, for the Mac and iOS packages, if you have experience with it, we're very welcoming you. And in any case, if you want to help us, come and discuss it on IRC on GCompre channel before doing anything. And that's all. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Questions? If there's time. Uh, congratulations on taking over what is one of our also flagship applications and Thanks. which we should be quite proud of. Um, having said that, how do we know we trust you? So, so Jacques Compris has been quite successful with the commercial activities where it sells on app stores and whatnot. Um, where's the money going and how do we as a community make sure that you're not just spending all on champagne for yourself? Uh. Well, <laughs> uh, on the commercial aspect, uh, before I took over uh, this, uh, it was just uh, well, uh, Bruno getting all the income for his work and the, it's similar in this way. I took over this on mine uh, since I'm a freelance uh, worker, then it comes to my income and found me to work on it. So you can trust me by looking at the commits I, I do regularly. And I hope to do much more and more and more. <laughs> Fair enough. And the other half of the question was, what happens if you fall under a bus? Are all the passwords and whatnot for that? What, what? It, if, you, if you die today, oh. w what happens to all the accounts for that? Which is a general problem. Uh, the thing is, uh, hopefully, we have uh, uh, I have Johnny as co-maintainer. so. He, Bruno asked him and he's not interested in taking over the commercial activity, but uh, he has access also to the, uh, the accounts in the app store, etc. So, and Bruno still has also access to those. So we are these three people at least who can, if anything happen, uh, restart it. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, I'm actually the traditional Chinese translator for G Compris, and uh, hey, I also record audio in Academy in 2015 with yes. Bruno. But at that time, he f put more focus on Android version. Though in 2015, he rewrites G Compris with Qt. And I know he gave a talk, and we talk a lot with this because in we we promote free software in schools in Taiwan, and this one is very important. But at that time, he f put more focus on Android version, so the Linux version we always couldn't get the binary packages. So even for now, I still use the old GTK version to <laughs> promote in schools. Okay, so you say you're still using the old GTK version? Uh, in the Linux version. I, 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 I've introduced them to the Enjoy version, for, yeah, and also for the pay, uh, paid versions, full yeah. version, right? And, but actually, I would like to update our uh, G companies to the new Q, the version, but I, I never get the Linux binary packages. Yes. Oh, so you, yes. we should talk after to try to fix that. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, actually I also 
ones consider to to do this for for two companies, but uh, I I didn't. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. So do do you have any plan that the, uh, we can get any e even the static uh, Tata GZ versions for Linux binaries? Uh, you you say that it depends on a lot of system library, but I'm actually not sure what the real problem is. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really I'm really eager to uh, have a good version on running on our Linux box so that we can introduce them to more people. Yeah, yeah well, we'll try to work on it. <laughs> Uh, if I may add something to this, uh, now that we're pushing for app images and containerized uh, flat packs and stuff like that, uh, we could probably try to package uh, Jcompy as a app image or a flat pack. Yeah. This would be accessible to more. Yes, yeah. that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, have you talked to uh, the Debian team about what, why they are only packaging the old GTK version, not the new one? Not yet, but uh, I just checked it uh, preparing my talk and uh, noticed that. But I will. I also don't really know who to contact and where to get this, this kind of feedback. So, if you have some advice about it, I'd be open. I'm the Kubuntu uh, release manager yeah. this round. Uh, part of the problem is, I just asked in our Devel channel, I don't know if I've got an answer yet. It didn't used to be part of our package set because it wasn't KDE. Now that it's KDE yeah. and you've had a KDE release, it should become part of our package set. And the same in Debian, the KDE Qt team may not be aware that they need to take it over. Well, they have this pack, this Qt version package, but an old one, and I don't know why they didn't update it. I know who to ask. <laughs> Thanks. Good. Okay. Does anyone have another question? Okay, then I guess we can wrap this up. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Good talk, Timothy.